We're gonna talk about if you should or shouldn't sign your painting and why, as well as how. So to start off, I get asked a lot if you should sign your painting, and the answer is always yes. If you like your painting enough to keep it or put it out into the world, you should absolutely sign it. This says that you made it and you're proud of it. When people see your art, they expect to see your signature. I think it just looks more professional if it's signed. If it's not signed, you don't really have any way to know if it's an original piece of art or if it's just something from Walmart or somewhere. A lot of people say they don't like to sign a painting because they feel like that detracts from the image and that's absolutely not true. In fact, signing your painting completes your image. Signing your painting is one of the most important steps to helping build a name for yourself as an artist. So think of it this way. You have a painting on display somewhere. Somebody sees it and notices your signature. Later, somewhere else, they see another one of your paintings and they recognize the signature. Now you've just built a little bit of a connection with that person. People like to buy art from artists that they feel connected to and signing it, it's almost like a handshake to the viewer when you're not there. The more they see that signature, the more they recognize you and your style, and they begin to feel more connected with you. When they see your signature on many paintings, it helps them take you more seriously as an artist. Another reason it's important to sign your art is because it helps you build confidence. If you've never signed a painting before, you should try it and see how it makes you feel. Every time you look at your painting after that with your signature on it, that signature is gonna remind you that you did that. That came from you. And if you can do it once, you can do it again. So signing a painting is not, it's not required. It's not a legal thing that you have to do, but there are some potential issues that come from not signing a painting. So if you don't sign your painting and you sell it or give it away or whatever, it's then available for someone else to sign and then claim as their own painting. In fact, one of my artists did something very similar. She didn't sign a painting one time, and in an effort to just get rid of a bunch of old paintings, she sent some of them to the thrift store. Now, someone found her painting at the thrift store and bought it, and then signed their own name on that painting. They then took that painting around to art fairs and entered it into art competitions as their own painting. She found out that this happened a few different times because people that she knew saw the painting in the, in the show and told her about it. So what if you become a rich and famous artist one day? Nobody will have any way to prove that a painting is yours if it doesn't have your signature on it. Now I know none of you are planning on being rich and famous painters, but most painters who are successful probably didn't. But signing their original work is something that helped get them there and then also proved valuable later on down the line when some of their earlier works before they were famous were discovered and then it could be proven to be theirs. Look at any famous painter. Almost all of them have very strong, recognizable signatures right on the front of their painting. So you're not planning on being a rich and famous artist? Well, think about your future generations. If you have paintings in your family that you're giving to family members, you're keeping for yourself, think about the people in your family in the future. By signing it, you give them a way to remember who painted it, to have a close connection with that painting, to keep it around. It then becomes a valuable heirloom that can be traced back to you. So when do you sign a painting? Sign your painting when you feel confident that it is completed. Don't sign it and then keep painting on it because you don't know what you're gonna end up doing and the signature might get in the way or get obscured or throw everything off. So wait until you are confident that you're done and then sign it. Sign it before you varnish and then once you varnish, it'll be sealed with the rest of the painting. So my rule for signing is that after I've signed a painting, I don't touch it. I don't make any changes to it unless I have a couple little things that just need to be touched up, like blemishes or maybe the painting got scraped against another painting and now there's a little mark on it, but I don't add or subtract key parts of the image after I've signed it. So sometimes when I'm not sure, I think, okay, I think I'm done. Then I'll just hurry and sign it. And it's really ingrained in me now that once I sign it, I don't touch it, it's done. So when I sign a painting, I will use a small round brush like this one. I'll usually use one of the colors that I used in my painting or a contrasting color that I think would look nice. It doesn't really matter. It just matters that you can see it. You should always 
sign your painting on the front. You can sign it on the back afterwards too, but your signature should always be on the front where it can be seen. It doesn't really matter where on the canvas, typically one of the bottom corners, either the left or the right, but wherever you feel that it's most appropriate to the image. And don't try to hide your signature. There's a lot of artists who do try and hide their signature, either because they don't want it to detract from the painting, or I know a couple artists who will try and hide their signature in the image because they feel like it's unique and gets people searching for their signature. But I can tell you that a lot of people just assume it's not signed. And it really doesn't matter how you sign it. You can sign your initials, you can use the date, you can sign your last name, just your first name. You can really sign it however you want. I did see a kid one time who signed his painting with his first, middle, last name, full date, like Tuesday, June 13th, 2016 at 7.03 p.m. And that was quite a large signature, but if that's what he wanted to do. The main thing that matters is that you're consistent with how you sign it. Any additional info you want included with the painting you can put on the back. So that means if you just sign your initials on the front, maybe you wanna write your full name, you can put that on the back. If you wanna put the date, the time, the day of the week that it was painted, you can put that on the back. The title of the painting, it can go on the back. But your signature always goes on the front. So a little while ago, I saw this thing going around on Facebook that was telling people to sign paintings on the edge here. And there was this whole thread about it, and there were a lot of people who were really excited about it, thought that was really cool, said that they were gonna do that. And I'm telling you right now that doing that is a bad idea. So think about if you get a canvas framed. If you framed it, it would then block that off and your signature wouldn't be visible anymore. Anybody viewing it would assume that it wasn't signed. Again, if the painting leaves your hands for some reason or another, you sell it or whatever, if it's signed on the edge, it can easily be painted over on the edge and then whoever gets it can sign it on the front and then claim it as their own again. Now that's not to say that if you sign it on the front, there's absolutely no way anyone can paint over that and sign it as their own. They definitely could, but it would be much harder to cover up and make it obvious and obscure the fact that it had previously been signed already. If you want to sign it on the edge because you think it looks good, absolutely go for it, but sign it on the front too. So when is it okay to not sign a painting? Well, technically it's okay to never sign a painting. Like I said before, it's not a legal requirement. You don't absolutely have to sign a painting, but I recommend always signing a painting unless you're gonna paint over it. That's when I say it's okay to not sign a painting. If you're gonna paint over it, there's no reason to sign it if you don't want to. So to recap, yes, you should sign any painting that you want to keep or put out into the world in one way or another. By not signing it, you give someone else permission to claim your painting as their own. And it also makes it difficult to impossible for anyone to ever prove that the painting is yours in the future. Always sign your painting when you're done and before you varnish it. Always sign on the front with a small round brush in a color that's going to show up. Don't try and hide it. And you can add any additional information onto the back. So now I'm going to show you how I sign a painting. So I have my small round brush and I wet it in the jar and I've got some of this primary red left over from when I made the painting. So I'm going to load up with some of that. And I always sign with my initials. I'm very consistent. And I usually, well no, I always include the last two of the year. That's not a requirement. You can do that if you want to. You can just do your initials. It doesn't really matter. I like to do the year, and some artists do as well, and some artists don't. But notice I didn't try and hide it. My signature is prominent. It's in a color that stands out. It's not hidden off into this corner in a teeny tiny handwriting. It's just right there. So if you ever see a painting of mine, you will know immediately it's mine because it will be signed like that. So that's all for today. I hope that this vlog was helpful in telling you why it's important to sign a painting and how to do so. Also, later this week on the 19th, I believe, is the one year anniversary of the very first painting video that I ever uploaded. So I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm not exactly sure what that giveaway will be just yet, but I'll be doing a giveaway. And so stay tuned for information on that. I will also be making Art Monster Squad t-shirts very soon and 
They will be available for purchase on my website, so also watch for that. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave me a message either down below or on Facebook to let me know what other kind of vlogs you would like to see. I have a whole list going right now, and I hope to get some really interesting and helpful topics out to you guys very soon. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.